Hey guys, good morning. It is currently 9-11 here in Canada and um, I just hit my foot. But this is going to be an unedited video. I'm going to try to keep it short and sweet. But basically the three things that are in this title are I'm stopping my cut, I'm reevaluating my goals, and I'm getting surgery. So first of all, I'm going to start with the whole surgery situation. Um, I'm going to probably do a complete like high quality sit down video after my surgery and my entire experience and how it happened and everything like that. But for you guys that are clicking on this video and curious, I'm going to give you guys the info because this is something that's definitely important to me. Um, I feel like if anyone else is going through this, then you guys should definitely be able to relate. And if you guys have gone through this, I would love your advice. So first of all, um, I tore my lumbar. I dislocated five other places. I have damage in my elbow, all because I was really sweaty during a workout and it slipped. So I'm showing you guys on my other arm. It's on my right arm that I tore it. I also have some bruising right here, but it never hit me so I mean like the bruising is internal because I tore that and I think I tore my pec as well but my surgeon I have a meeting with or an appointment with him on the 25th right after I get back from Canada because currently I'm in Canada um so basically I was doing a tricep extension forward just to you know have proper form and put the weight the barbell back on my hips and I got hurt because I was really sweaty and it slipped and I just felt my arm do a 360 in the socket and then excruciating pain and then after that I was laying on the gym floor like and then I opened my eyes and I was like oh my god what just happened <laughs> so that was awful it was the most pain I've been in um I I'm supposed to be wearing a brace and a sling but I'm not right now just because it is early morning and um yeah so with that, I just want to touch on the other things. I am stopping my goals that I have currently for my cut just because, number one, I didn't think it was working for me because I I have to reevaluate them anyway, but at this point I need to completely change them because I cannot work out as hard as before. I can't do any lifting on this side. Um, I can barely use a bar for squatting. I really shouldn't be, especially after my surgery. I'm not allowed to. I'll be wearing a sling, um, so I'm kind of at the point where I need to reevaluate my reevaluate my goals, my nutrition, and just figure out a way that I can lose body fat without going insane in the gym because I'm not going to be able to. Um, and I love going insane in the gym; like that's my therapeutic way of handling situations. So that's gonna be really hard for me because I normally do two sessions a day at the gym, and I feel great, and I feel positive about myself not because um I feel like I need to go to the gym just because I that's my place that's my happy place and stuff so if you guys have any ideas of exercises that I can do while wearing a sling I don't have the best balance so I'm not going to be doing Stairmaster just because it is something where even when I wasn't injured <laughs> I would sometimes trip and fall or you know things like that and catch myself and I wouldn't be able to catch myself so I'm not going to be doing Stairmaster until I feel comfortable enough to do that just because I don't want to get injured more. So if you guys have any exercises that I can do, um, a lot of legs, um, even this arm, but I just can't do anything with this one so you have to, like if you guys have any exercise ideas I'd love to hear them. If you guys have ever gone through a surgery for your shoulder, and you guys have advice for me or you guys have an experience you want to tell me about, please let me know. I would love to hear it. Um, but going along with my goals again, I'm going to be reevaluating my nutrition and my fitness goals, which is why I'd love to have exercise ideas just because I'm probably going to have to download Pokemon Go to get my cardio in because <laughs> at this point I can't, I don't think I'll be able to run. Um, I, right now I'm on painkillers, so... I don't really feel this area as much as I did before, but in the beginning, I literally could not run. Um, I was in too much pain because my arm swinging motion was just excruciating, and it is on my right side. So once school starts on August 8th, I will still not be able to use my arm to write, which really blows because I want to show my teachers and show everyone that I'm not a slacker, can't even drive. So that is another thing is I won't be able to drive for like five weeks and maybe more I haven't met with my surgeon but just one of my really close friends he just had his and he wasn't able to drive for at least five so that's that um 
yeah, with nutrition, I want to keep it high protein and my goals for that are to really dial in and stick to my macros and stick to my eating and stay under my macronutrient goals, um, but get as close as possible to the ratios of them, if that makes sense, so I don't ever want to go over. Just because I'm going to probably be in a slight calorie deficit, but nothing that's extreme just because I will still be eating 1,500 calories a day um, and I won't be doing as intensive workouts. But my goal is to maintain or drop a little bit of body fat, but I don't want to use my muscle, so I'm going to be eating a high-protein diet just because I want to maintain what I have slightly, but I am I know it's inevitable. I'll be losing some of it. Um, I can already feel dwindled down, but... Um, yeah, so if you guys have any ideas, I would love to hear them. I'm completely open to them. And um, I just, I hope that you guys can keep some positive thoughts for me just because of the fact that this is something that, number one, I'm very passionate about my training and stuff and I won't be able to do that. And number two, um, this is like a major setback, but everything happens for a reason. And that's what I've decided that there's a much better thing that's going to be coming along. I'm going to be learning so much from this situation and if anyone ever gets hurt after this I'll be able to give you guys advice and um, take knowledge from this situation and learn really what my body does and how it reacts to certain foods. So that's kind of my goals that I have now. I just want to see how nutrition really affects me just because I know when I eat clean I feel better. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the next however long it takes for me to heal and really, like I always want to focus on nutrition, but I'm going to really focus on figuring out what foods work for my body, which ones don't, um, which foods I like and which ones I don't like. I'm going to experiment with meals. I'm going to definitely learn how to cook a little bit more. Um, and those are kind of my goals now. I had to reevaluate them just because I can't do the cut now. I can try my best to like keep my macros and everything, and I'm going to because I don't want to gain any more weight, especially because I'm on vacation right now. So that's kind of what I'm doing right now. And if you guys want to follow me on my fitness account on Instagram, please do. I'll have every update on there. And then I will eventually be doing a sit down post surgery video if you guys want updates. And my Snapchat always has updates. If you guys want to follow me on there, it's simply SydneyXO. Please don't be afraid to ever reach out to me. I love talking to you guys. That's one of the things that motivates me the most. Um, when I get direct messages from you guys and you guys tell me about your lives and everything that's going on in yours or the fact that you have become motivated by me, like that's something that I've, that I've heard a decent amount recently. And I want you guys to know that you are capable of doing anything that you want to do. If you set your mind to it and you go and do it, you're going to achieve it. My main goal with this is to maintain my weight, maybe drop a little bit, but I just want to be able to like really focus on nutrition and I'm going to achieve that because if I set my mind to something, there's going to be some setbacks. There's going to be things like this that happen. This cut is going to be prolonged. It's going to be after I heal up, but I'm not going to stop trying to achieve my goals. So I hope that you guys know that you don't have to give up your goals just because something like this happens. Everything happens for a reason and these things are just here to make you stronger. They're here to better you and give you tools that you can take later on in life so <coughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed and if you guys watched the entire video say I want you guys if you guys watched to this point I want you guys to comment down below what your favorite ice cream flavor is I want you guys to say my favorite ice cream flavor is and then blank because I love ice cream and I have a major sweet tooth so I like hearing about that stuff or you guys can just say that you watched to this point. I love you guys so much. And if you guys have any advice for me or an experience or if you guys just want to reach out to me, I will gladly talk to you guys. Um, another thing that I want to mention is that I cannot do badminton just because it is my right arm. So that blows because it is in fall and it starts in August. And I'll still be majorly recovering. So... Please keep positive thoughts that I don't go crazy from not being able to lift because that's my favorite thing to do. But I love you guys so much and I'm sorry this video was super long and I hope that you guys enjoy it.